I know that's worth a lot more than 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's up guys, ABC Matt here. Um, today is a cloudy day, but I'm hoping to hit some more garage sales while it's still garage season and I hope you come along and see what I could get. So starting the day off, I'm looking around and what did I notice on the floor? Some boots on the floor and they are made by Hunter. Hunter is a good brand name for boots, um, but for $20, uh, I decided to pass. It was a little cheaper, I would have taken it because boots, they just take up too much of my time to clean and then pack it up. But I did find my very first thing I've ever found in the wild, which is at Department 56. And for $10, it, it, it was not bad of a deal. I wish it was cheaper, but I'll still pick it up because it's my first find. Because it's my first time finding it in the wild, I had to do the comp. So as you can see, there's one listed, none sold. However, there is WorthPoint. WorthPoint is a great uh, service where you can find archived online listings. So I did ask somebody who could look that up for me and it, it was worth my while to pick this up. But when you get these types of items, you always want to double check. Then make sure that there's no cracks in it. It has most of the pieces in there because the last thing you need is to buy an item without looking at it and you take it home and you find out it's all messed up. I know that's worth a lot more than 10 bucks. <laughs> yeah. I'm too lazy to sell it otherwise. <laughs> yeah. And you get some cash out of it. So you don't yeah. have to worry about it. Yeah. I think I'm just going to take this. Okay. <sighs> I hope you get some good money. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I do reselling on the side. Do you? Yeah. yeah. And I have a YouTube channel, so yeah. I just do all that oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. That's a great thing to do that way. Yeah. We have a set of the real, like, a different set. She yeah. bought us the wrong one, so I'm like, I don't want it. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, good well, luck. Thank you. You're welcome. So this next one, as you can see, there's so many toys here. So I'm just trying to decide which of these toys is actually worth my while. And then I see a bag full of 1980s My Little Pony. Now I normally don't pick up My Little Pony, but these are the vintage ones, so I had to pick it up for three dollars. Why not? For three dollars, you have so many options. You could let it sit in eBay and sell it that way, take best offers because you, you're not in it too too hard, or you could just sell on whatnot to sell it quickly. So the world is your oyster when you you find a bag full of My Little Ponies for three dollars. I think we need one more dollar, right? Nothing else worthwhile at this yard sale. There was a bag, a little bit of Barbies in it, but they kind of beat up. So I didn't want to clean it and see if I could salvage it. So that passed. But the My Little Ponies are easy to sell. Oh. Or not. It's not. No, I don't. Okay. No problem. In my purse. They're not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
My vintage old school my <laughs> ponies. ponies, yeah. My parents moved out of our home after 30 years last year. And all right. They gave me all this, like, you know, the, that, the Barbies, and I did not have any girls. I got all boys. Oh, so it was a waste. I, I know. You couldn't I, pass it down. I even tried to give it to my brother who had a daughter, and they said, we already have so much of this stuff. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Carla, hello. Oh, oh. How are you? Hey, Good. Good. You just needed one more dollar? No. Oh, yes. Four dollars. Cool. And I'm going to need two. Okay. Yes. Two dollars? Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, this is all. It's going to. Hopefully, then. Yeah, so well. Good luck with your sales. So, not everything is fine and dandy. This particular garage sale, I messed up big time. I should. I saw um, three items, vintage. I knew it sells, but somehow my brain told me not to pick it up. So looking at the clothes, was not into it. There's this bin full of squish models. Now squish models do sell, but <laughs> in my history, it takes forever to sell. It'll be sitting in my inventory for so long before I sell one of these. Now I could do what not, but um, I didn't want to feel like packing those, you know, because you need a bigger box for them, and I just didn't want to do it. I just hate the fact that it's going to sit in my inventory for so long Even though they do sell eventually So I did pass on these But it was worth it if you wanted those But here is where the messed up occurred There is three vintage Pyrex here They were $5 a piece Now on eBay and Etsy They sell for as a set for about 80 something dollars so I would have been in profit, but somehow my brain told me not to pick it up. I don't know why. Eventually I do come back there and then someone bought it already. So that's my screw up of the day. Ah, uh, ABC Matt. ABC Matt? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I can remember that. That's yeah. Easy. Nice. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Find anything good today? I uh, got a Department 56 and some My Little Ponies. Cool, cool. Yeah. Pretty busy down here. Yeah, yeah. I see. <laughs> Someone saw me to turn on my GoPro, so he asked me what channel I have. And, you know, when you ask me what my channel name is, I'll give you a business card or sticker. So at this garage sale, they, the items they have, they have a little of everything, but it's priced a little bit too high. Um, so I didn't pick up as much as I wanted to. So you see that screen mask? The screen mask was uh, 50 cents. But, uh, you know, looking it up on the comps, it's about those three and four dollar masks, not the hundred dollar masks. So I did pass on this, um, but you know, always check out the screen masks because certain ones are worth money. And as you know, Disney items sell for me, so I gravitate towards them a little bit harder than others. So that Pluto hat should sell. And then we go to like bags of toys and grab bags and stuff like that. Um, some of the toys are 
a little too high i think like a couple of bags were like five dollars um but there's some that were okay and uh yeah i mean if you're into it if you want to do the due diligence and checking every single item so you can selling each item might take a little bit of time but uh didn't i wasn't feeling it So I picked up this Build-A-Bear Pikachu, um, Build-A-Bear um, Pokemon stuffies or stuff animals, what you call it, or plushies. Uh, they do sell and um, why not? So I got that and the Pluto hat uh, at this garage sale. And then I'm going to hit up the final one after this. Now this garage sale a lot of stuff for that has really been used a lot so a lot of the items are just a dollar a piece so out of it i just noticed this titleless hat golf hats sell well and i have a good history Oop, with them the so this one i'll pick up it's it's been worn but um not the worst thing i ever seen the raiders hats are kid size i don't want to touch the kid size caps um so it's pretty much this hat and nothing else at this yard sale. So here is the haul that I got. The My Little Ponies. There was 11 in a plastic bag for $3. So 11 ponies. I, I can sell it any way I want, whatnot, or eBay. And take best offers because I still be, be in the profit. I'm not here to be greedy. But as long as I make a profit, it's all good. So um, after the My Little Ponies, we have the Titleist hat, that should sell as well. Then you have the Pluto hat. Like I said, Disney items do sell for me. And then we have the Build-A-Bear um, Pikachu Pokemon. Pokemon always sells. Then finally is the Department 56. Now here's the cups.